Okay, so our first tip for the day is our presenters are going to give you a bottle of water and the reason for this is the brain works electrochemically. So to facilitate the electrical impulses in your brain, you need to drink at least eight glasses of water a day and especially before a challenging exercise like this. You need to drink water so that it facilitates those impulses. Now, I've got a little ball here called an energy ball. And this little ball, if the two electrical circuits are connected, there is a flow of energy. Kanya, just put your finger there. And now the moment I touch her hand, there's a flow of energy again. So it just shows that our bodies conduct electricity, but we must remember your brain produces between 20 to 25 watts of electricity. So when we are going to play a brain game, water is going to be key for you in order to outthink your opponent. So that's why, guys, before any mental exercise, you've got to drink your water. Okay, guys, so our second tip for this contest is if you want to outperform your competition, you have to engage both brain hemispheres. So one of the ways to do that is if I can give you an example on this whiteboard, is to try and draw, for instance, a face like this, but with both hands mirror imaging everything. So what the right hand does, the left hand must do as well. Okay. <laughs> Something like that. Or an easier exercise that you can do is, I want you all to imitate, do this with me. We are going to clap our hand, and then cross over, touch the nose and the ear. Then we are going to switch over to the other side. So do this slowly, but try and do this with me. This is what we call a bilateral movement activity. It helps us to activate and switch on both brain hemispheres. In this day and age, if we want to outperform our competition, we have to be brain fit. We have to fly on both engines, if so to speak. And simple movement activities like this can really help us get there. So that I, can, means... I can see this catching on in the clubs. <laughs> hey! <laughs> now, Andre, I'm like learning so much from you, from the alpha state to the water. What more can you teach us? Okay, guys, our third tip, very important, remember, your brain works on oxygen. So oxygen is fuel for your brain like petrol is for a motor car's engine. So you've got to oxygenate your system. But what we need to do is to also connect all the electrical circuits in the body. So what I would need you to do is, I want you to cross your legs like this. Then I want you to take your hands, put it out like this, thumbs down, and then cross over like this and bring them in. So this is an activity to let you physically relax and connect your electrical circuits, okay? Now this activates a part in the brain that lets you relax deeply. <laughs> now while we are going to do this, we are going to inhale for four seconds, inhale, and then four seconds or longer, exhale again. And then deeply in and then out again. So as we are standing here, here we go. For four seconds, let's take it in. As deep as you can. Again. And out again. And again, here we go. In. And out. <laughs> so ideally, what we need to do is to do this activity for a breathing exercise for about two minutes before we start. So you do your breathing exercise and you sit in a relaxed position like this or there and it connects the electrical circuits and it helps you to get into the zone. If you know that you need some silence to get into that zone, then make sure you create an environment for yourself where it's quiet. Then I want to say to our listeners out there, avoid negative talk. Don't tell yourself, because when Peter saw that he was progressing but he got distracted, the ball started moving quicker back. Meaning with that negative self-talk is never a good thing. Because what happens in the brain is we start producing chemicals that actually blocks electrical transmission between our brain cells. The activity is called a lazy eight. So what we do is we draw an eight that fell flat on its side like this. So um, it also looks a little bit like 
an old racetrack. But now, when we do this activity, what is going to be important when we do the activity is you've got to keep your eye on the thumb like this, and then you go out and up in the middle, and then up and out to the other side. So you keep your head still, your eyes stay focused on your thumb, you go up in the middle and you do this about five to ten times with your right hand, then you shift hands, then five to ten times with your left hand, that you do it like this, slowly keeping your head still, eye on the tip of the pen or your thumb, and then both hands again and slowly.